Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and 5, homebrew news, and much, much more. So today, Gold Hen version 2.2.4 was released. And if we scroll down into the release notes here in the change log, it says that it fixed the K-Log TTY redirect. Now, a bit more on that in just a moment, but if you are wondering what that K-Log TTY redirect is, you can think of that as a way that you can get diagnostic information about maybe a game that's currently being played. It also will show things like if you have a controller and you're pressing on certain buttons, uh, it will show you that output in maybe something such as like the Windows Terminal, for example, if you're on Windows like I am. Now, I took a quick peek at what some of the issues were that might would have caused this. And basically what I found was that inside of the issues of Gold Hen and in the closed issues, there were several of these tickets. So here is one of them that says Apollo Save Tool Problem with 2.2.3. It says me and many others have problems with Apollo Save Tool. Problems occurred. No app notifications appear with the latest versions. Black screen starts. With previous versions, the images layouts are not loaded correctly, and then freezing the app on many different options. Now, eventually in here, Sistro responded and said, thanks for reporting. It should be fixed in 2.2.4. And then if we take a look at a, another issue that was closed, I was trying to load my save in Final Fantasy with 2.2.3. When I press the load game, the game's music keeps playing, but no load menu shows up only a black screen instead of a prompt to choose which save to load. And if we scroll down into this, we can also see that this is another issue that had been reported as being fixed by Sistro in 2.2.4. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, is that with the previous release, 2.2.3, there was an option that you could turn that on or off. By default, it was off. Now, over on Twitter, I saw that Chameleon, which is one of the official kind of representations from Sistro and for Gold Hen, he said, hey, this is very important to let you know, by default, Gold Hen 2.2.3 disables TTY K-Log Redirector. So if you're having issues with any homebrew like Apollo, Gold Hen Cheat Manager, Homebrew Store, then just go to the clog setting and enable TTY again. So basically with 2.2.4, it will be enabled, but if you are on 2.2.3, you can fix that by toggling this TTY field itself. So let's go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation 4 and take a look at this. Okay, so here I am on my PlayStation 4, and I've got 2.2.3 currently loaded right here. And so what I am going to do first off is I'm going to show you that in the K-Log settings here, by default, this is turned off. And so what happens is let's just go ahead and let's go to the Homebrew store, for example. And you may notice that it isn't necessarily loading. So this is just kind of a black screen that is happening because that option is not enabled. So what we can do here is, is that we could go ahead and we could toggle that field in the K-Log settings. Now, it isn't just specific to the Homebrew store, for example. I could come over here to the Apollo Save Tool as what was mentioned in the issue tracker. And once this loads up, I can go ahead and maybe select an option here. And I will select the one here for USB saves and I'll press X. And really at this point, this is completely frozen. So I can't do anything with it except for exit back out of it. And so this should tell me right now that I don't have a USB stick that is compatible or available to save these games. Now we can go ahead and again, we can fix this on 2.2.3 by coming in here first off and closing any of these homebrew apps that we were running 
But we could go back into settings here, back up to gold hen, and then going down to the K log settings, and then turning that option back on. So now that I do that, I'm gonna go back into the Apollo save tool first. And once this loads up, I will take that same USB save option. So here we go. Let's go to USB saves. And there we go. It says no save games found. I could also go ahead and go back into the homebrew store here. And this will obviously be able to run now instead of just defaulting to that black screen that it was on just a moment ago. So I just wanted to at least share that was the bug and that was the fix. And if you don't want to go ahead and update everything to 2.2.4, you can at least go ahead and go back into settings and then back up to gold hen and then K log settings and just put a check mark in this as a workaround. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and let's load 2.2.4. I'm going to reboot my PlayStation 4 and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have rebooted my PlayStation 4 and I'm going to go to the user guide here. Again, I am using my ESP32-S2 device and I'm going to go to Goldhen version 2.2.4. Okay, and so once this loads up, we will take a quick peek over at the About screen and see if there is anything new on that. Okay, loading. And there it is. Golden Hen version 2.2.4 has been loaded. Our FTP is listening as well as bin loader. And so let's just go ahead and go back to our settings here. And let's go to gold hand and then on about and then about gold hand and let's just scroll down. And there it is for version 2.2.4 fixed K log TTY redirect. So by default, if we go into the K log settings, this was enabled, but this could have been enabled because it saves the settings. So let's just take a quick peek in PS4 Explorer and we'll go root access here. We're going into data and then gold hen and this is that configuration file. Okay, so we can see by default there is one right here for the bin loader and then for the FTP server and then for the cheat right here and there is the K-Log server that has a TTY redirect set to one. So it may have been on my machine that I just had that set from the previous setting, but regardless, the fix was in the Golden version 2.2.4. And then just to wrap up things here, if you did want to see the output of this TTY redirect, well, you could do so pretty easily. So if we go back into about and then about gold in, and let's just scroll down here just a little bit, then you can see right here, it says added K log server on 3232 port. And if you wanted to try this out live, well, you could do so by heading over to Windows or your Windows terminal, installing WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux, and simply running NC space IP address space 3232. I'll link to a video that I created just a little while ago that goes through this step by step in case you want to do that. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!